I trust. Welcome back, everyone, to the finals of this month's Diamond Blow Tournament. Uh, joining us are good old Tune and MG and Wet Lemons, and uh, you're not Snow. No, I am not. But I'm equally or more than sick than him. So <laughs> we're trading sick boy for sick boy, so we good. God, I'm going to get sick through the internet, but... As always, I, my name is Secure Hades, and Mr. Dongles, our, our lovely lord and savior on the stream team, is joining me for the finals tonight. Super excited. I've been watching all night. 200 MG making their way through the bracket. And Wet Lemons. Going to be going on to Li Zhang. waiting for the teams to ready up and then we'll be starting off our best of five for tonight gonna be good what lemons the usual winners i think they have only not won <clears throat> or at least gotten to the grand finals once in all of these diamond and belows that they have participated in they were dethroned i think the last diamond and below if i'm not mistaken but yeah i back with a vengeance here I couldn't remember. I think they lost or like I, when I say early on, I mean like best like semifinals instead of finals. But they consistently do very well in this tournament. All right, it's going to be pretty good. A few new players. I want to say Millie and Ellipses perhaps have not been at least on the usual rotation of players there. But Adam Riftbolt, Alien Tree, I believe Gray as well are some of the usual players on Wet Lemons with Adam yeah. leading them off as their captain. Yeah, same thing with 200MG, Scumbag, Bailey, Feeding, and Caillou, the ones that usually around. Can't remember if Dark Shell is on the usual roster or he's showing up for this month, and Mobis is definitely new. Yeah, and I've been looking at through him, and Scumbag has been a fairly consistent DPS. A lot of good McCree play. <clears throat> he's doing a lot of high ground and high noons at the same time here catching people in those chaotic moments to grab at least two kills getting a lot of value out of that oh yeah and then like and, yeah feeding on his roadhog doing yeah. really well on that feeding is always a fairly solid tank to have on your team caillou's been a bit of a uh, flex player going through uh some really Gendi, tracer uh, and widows sombra, sombra uh, as well. yeah five what? players throughout the tournament so he's got a Capture. bit of a wide field there to pull from. But let's see how this goes with both players of the teams, of course, running a mercy. And no Junkrat either on the other team, which is also, like, kind of surprising. Junkrat, really good. Me and Snow were talking about it just last match, where Junkrat's pretty good on this on this point of Lijong. So it's surprising neither team went with it. Hallways are so good to spam down here, and the fight continues right on point. And it looks like Mobis will be the first casualty here, even with Ellipsis. Going to be kind of another one to fall on the other side. But right now, Adam has super high energy with his Adam area. glowing like a Christmas tree one minute. Just what happened in that fight? Ripple got a good flank and pinched them into the um, hallway with the stairs there. And then also, Scumbag got slapped, so he wasn't able to do much of that fight. Oh, and, oh my god, the grabs are already up! There's a Dragon Blade coming, and Scumbag just coming back from spawn. He's just a lad. Come on now, Millie. They have the families. I mean, it was a little overzealous, I'm not gonna lie, from Adam to throw out that grab. Only really grabbing one person within it, but with some cleanup with his team, they're gonna... Don't. Douglas, when you, have the, here. when you have the grab in like 30 seconds, you just press the cube on exactly. it. Like, it doesn't even matter if it's good or not. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, on the other side of things, Dark Shadow and Bailey Ninja both have their support ultimates, and actually Dark Shadow is going to come in with an aggressive Valkyrie here to see if he can support them, along with Sound Bearer from Bailey Ninja. Now we do see there's the Prime Rage coming up. Off from Alien Tree, trying to push them off the point, keeping them as long. Bailey's actually on the point, slowly capping it as what Lemons gets off the point. But we do see Scumbag going to pick up our Alien Tree. Vox popped by Ellipsis. 
but don't see the res onto it. Gray's going to get picked up by Mobis and Phoenix going to get a whole hog kill. There's the Valk going to bring back Adam. Adam does not. Actually, he is about to get his grab, but he's going to get hooked. Will he get his grab first? Yes, he will. It's huh. onto three people, but not many people to follow up. Just Ripple. Alien trees back to try and zap, but the grab falls away. But Ripple actually is going to get the nano. Nano tracer very scary, zipping around. It has that like electricity sound that's very annoying. And one one is gonna hold that. And can two and MG get in? I think they will. They have to move fast to eight percent. They have to move. <clears throat> excuse me. They have to uh, move now. Bailey Ninja has to be speeding in there and but come back they're, down. They're and they're not. Body blocking. Yeah. Oh, can uh, Mobis so Mobis? close. Oh, feels right tick. bad. Well, I appreciate an aggressive push from a Mercy, you know, rather than one who maybe just sits in the back line, such as Dark Shadow over there, but he had a, a decent idea there, push in with Valkyrie, but I think Bailey Ninja, if he kept, or she, if they kept their song they barrier, don't. yeah, or attack helicopter, what do you ever identify as? Uh, <laughs> you know, if Bailey Ninja held on to sound barrier for another five ten seconds rather than keeping both of those up support ults going at the same time you would have sustained that fight so much longer um probably would maybe would have turned around tied perhaps but Ellipsis was there as well with their own valkyrie and kept the reses up until halfway through the use of it i'm not gonna lie i saw scumbag go off the edge and i didn't realize they were playing fair i was like wait why is he jumping off <laughs> just jump right out but no See that that last point, Junker would have been so good just to like break them holding that war room. But we do see this aggression coming out by Lemons again as we see Millie just playing a very aggressive on this Genji, just always in the back lane. Dark Shadow gonna be picked off by him. He's gonna actually gonna get the return kill in the back. But that's a mercy I, again when you lose your mercy early on in these fights, you're just losing that res. Kaiser's gonna get slept and instantly goes down the rift wall before he can get back up. And just Mobis left, actually, never mind, he's just dead. It's just feeding left against all these tanks and supports. And as I said, without having that Mercy, you only have a Lucio left. You're not going to be able to sustain through these fights. Yeah, and really, I mean, as they just did win that fight, it should be a shoe win if you grab their Mercy first. As long as you can have the communication and wherewithal to call out the specific heroes your team needs to be jumping and burning through. But in comes a dragon play from the back. Millie, not really, he does grab he does pick up eventually, but he kind of dashes through just about flat air and doesn't get much. The yeah, Dark Shadow will go ahead and reset Mobis there. Ooh, good Shatter. Going to get the charge up. That's three kills for 2 and MG. There's the barrage coming out as well. Ooh, Don't ooh, there you think go. it was needed, but still good. They use a lot of ultimates, but they do get the point. It's a good point. I mean, they had people in a confined area. You might as well call out your rocket barrage. Uh, I mean, oh. you could. Well, oh, that's a tough place to die. I doubt Dark Shell. Yeah, definitely not be able to get that. But Caillou is getting somewhat close to Death Blossom. So the thing is, they got four ult. Nano's coming out onto Alien Treats. is going to be walking up and zapping them. They do have the grab that they needed. They have Primal Rage and they have Valk as well. Meanwhile, 200G have no ults for this fight and looks like they're just going to get ran over. Yeah, we do see the Valk coming out. Don't think it was needed. Oh, the flashbang on the Mercy before she can rest feeding on the Roadhog. They're going to just back off. They did get three. I actually didn't realize they got 33% off of that. So yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not a lot. Um, but, you know, you essentially pulled out Valkyrie from Ellipsis there in that fight. Definitely not needed. And, you know. and I'm surprised that Mobis is still playing this Reinhardt into this composition here. I feel oh. like it pulled into the side. Oh Sound my goodness. Out. Adam gets booped off! Ooh, but as long as with that and grab, like, Millie going please. off to the edge. But Gray hitting an awesome uh, biotic grenade on that field so no healing could be done. But Healing Tree trying his best Oops to push the people off. Feeding. being bullied around right now. <laughs> oh, boy, please. But no, everyone's coming back. But Bailey does get the boop onto Ellipsis and he's going to go down. And that fat shatter is going to be killing everyone who's not currently running back from the point. Millie's trying his best to stall on this other side. Is he going to just keep here? Yeah, he's finally going to go down. Looks like 2MG going to get this point before they get the good old 99 overtime. So 2MG going to have some time to run back if they lose this point again. But 
Fifteen percent afterwards, not something you want to be up against. Eighty's yeah. eighty's yeah. more of a safe number. It'll be interesting and scumbag switching over to soldier a few moments ago here has his tac visor. Obviously not playing into many shields here, just Winston for mm -hmm. alien tree, but I guess that's the pros and cons. You have Mobius playing against Azario, so you're blocking a lot of that damage, but you get free earth shatters on the side to an MG. Man coming out on Millie, but he doesn't have Dragon Blade. Oh, oh the Wait. charge! From oh, the Mobius charge! To Millie. And Valk is popped like Dark Shout, keeping everyone alive. There's the Death Blossom coming out, not going to get any kills. Ellipsis is going to get Res, Ripple, and Millie, so the DPS are back. Neil on the back, Gray's going to die to Captain Kai, and Dead Eye is coming out. Oh, but the hook by Fiend is going to stop that! Dark Shout is going to res a scumbag, and he's going to deal with Ripple. Now Millie's forced to run away. 82%. Oh, the. Oh, wait, no, that was Adam just roaming off. I thought <laughs> Scumbag got the kill with the uh, Hex Rocket snipe. But 10% left. Alien G is going to have to jump onto the point. I don't think they have time otherwise. Ripple. Oh, yeah. I, I trust that they'll get in here. They're getting booped around, but they just need to get touch on the point. Alien Tree just barely getting there, as long as a few others. But sound barriers, Valkyries, everything is being pulled off here to keep this over time alive. And so mm -hmm. far, Alien Tree, the first one to die. Oh, there's Caster Curse. Dark Shadow <laughs> going to fall to Grey, actually. Oh, but here Fat comes... Shadow by Mobus. Adam's going to die. Lewis and Mac. Alien Tree is. Jumping around and Millie's trying to get something onto Bailey, but Kai is choking. Oh, never mind, he's dead. Caster Curse coming in. Pulse going to go onto Feeny. Feeny's going to kill his own teammate as he walks nearby. Mobius is the only one left on this point. Scumbag's trying to get on as well. 4v2. Scum Mobius is trying to smack away. He Scumbag's going to pick up Ripple before he dies, but the dash is going to kill him. Wait, hold on. Double res. Dark Shadow is actually get the res off on Mobius. Yeah. Not that it may not matter too much as it's still five on one here. But, ooh, nice sleep by Gray is doing some fantastic support work right now. A lot of uh, anti biotic grenades. He sleeps obviously right there on Caillou, who Millie a late nano boost onto his Dragon Blade, and Dark Shadow is actually just going to be flying off into the sunset, actually going to be smashing their face on the side of a building as Wet Lemons take the first map here. After a lot of back and forth, not... oh, darkness, my old friend. Yeah, de yeah, exactly. Definitely not a boring game at all here. But scumbag with that rocket barrage, I assume. Yeah, it's yep. the rocket barrage. But yeah, I mean the the first point wasn't too high contention, but definitely this last point it was very even, going back and forth. At, like. Wet Lemon's got 35, 200 got 33, then 85 to like 99, and finally in the last push they get it. Some great cards there. Rift Bolt was 68% kill participation. Fun fact, uh, Dark Shadow healed the amount more damage than uh, Noli did. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which, I mean, he's been, he's always, I think he got a few cards over the night. I've been watching the stream a bit. Uh, he's always been way up there. I'm a Mercy player, man. Yeah, I, and I know, going back to Rift Bolt a bit, fantastic DPS player in these tournaments. We've always seen him, especially on Tracer, and I remember, like, multiple maps, and especially, like, Watchpoint Gibraltar, he always comes in super clutch in, like, third point, and will just wipe an entire team almost. Yeah, Rift is definitely... Rift is one of those consistent DPSs we see. Scumbag, again, very consistent as well. So you just kind of like get to see these like really good players. I'm really good. I mean, also keep in mind Diamond Blow, but like for this tournament, right. they are always consistent in their play. All right, let me just make sure. Next one is Escort. Okay, you says 66. I will have to see if teams will be choosing for more, at least Wet Lemons here will be attacking. Let's see if they'll be choosing more of a, uh, you know, sit on cart, maybe double shield bash and strat or something. Or maybe they'll go with the classic dive or kind of uh, faux dive where you, you know, Genji, Mercy, Lucio or something like that with uh, Winston sprinkled in there for good measure, but... I w I'd be very surprised if they want like a Bastion El Presidente comp here. Especially when you got like Millie, who's been playing a lot of Genji today. We saw Adam, who plays a lot of Zarya. I don't know who would play Winston on their team, but 
I feel like with how aggressive they played this last map, I would be very surprised if they went like something really defensive like El Presidente. You never know. You know, I feel like they've used it a few times before. Who knows if they'll pull it out here again. But I wouldn't expect a uh, at least people to choose mostly their mains here. Uh, yeah, seems like. <clears throat> I mean, even if scumbag, I mean, Junkrat. It's a, a fairly open map here, but <clears throat> obviously with payload, attackers got to be somewhere to continue the map. So, might as well spam in their general direction. Maybe you'll get a couple kills. Mm -hmm. And also, like Junk's also just able to kind of stop dives just by like when you're diving, you're are you are taking a couple seconds to get there, and when you take like two junk rat grenades to the face, it's like oh, there's 240 damage right in my face. Then you also have traps everywhere that you can land the mine, so like kind of distance yourself. I mean, I was watching a lot of Overwatch League these past couple days, and I've seen multiple teams here. I think even on Route 6, well, man, on Route 66, but anytime a defensive team has a junk rat. They're almost baiting in those dive comps and laying down traps and mines to where the attackers will just land on that and you just wipe them, like, <laughs> just yeah. wipe uh, Winston out of existence, essentially. Exactly. Junk, junk definitely helps deal with dive. I'm, I, I'm surprised. I saw them hovering the Reaper. That also kind of helps with it because, again, like, you take a Reaper shotgun, face, blast the face, doesn't feel that good, especially when you have a gigantic kickbox like Winston. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of Reaper on this map. It's just there's too much space for him to go around, especially when the attackers are this close to their spawn and they can easily go to like a Pharah or something where Reaper would have a hard time getting to. Um, but sitting on top of big girls as usual. You see Ripple already oh, back, feeding though finds it with the hook, but oh the boot from onto Alien she's going to keep him from getting onto the gas station, and they are not going to. LNG does get up there, but they're gonna pick up Millie instead. You only get the first hole so far. They do decide to jump down and start swinging away at Adam and Alien Tree, and they're just gonna back off as their first push is negated by two quick picks. Yeah, a bit of a slow retreat, I would say, from Wet Lemons there, because they were already down two while they're trying to push the cart here, and they're actually down on, well, now down to five as Millie falls early again here. And well, now being rezzed, of course, Mercy, good hero. Balance here, Apache. <laughs> Alien Tree going out on a little excursion himself. He, he's playing super aggressive, but he's not backed up by a scene. But Adam gets hooked, Ooh. brings into the depths of it of 200 MG. He's gonna lose his mech for it. Now he has to get back. But Noi's gonna pick up Bailey Ninja in the back. I think what was Noi? And he picked it up on the point. Must have got a cheeky shuriken. But there's a dragon blade coming out. Dark Shadow's gonna have to go. Oh, shatter onto Noi to prevent him. There's a charge. Going to prevent that dragon, but both docks are coming up. But oh, Phoenix going to land the hook onto it, and Whole Hog going to be blasting everyone to space. Team Rocket's blasting way, ladies and gentlemen, as Feeding and the con and Mobius's shadow going to prevent a lot of damage coming out. Yeah, and so far, Rift Bolt, who now just went off Tracer to Junkrat himself. Has actually been a bit almost being harassed by Caillou on the defensive side because I mean he's taking Caillou's attention away from the front lines, so Junkrat has to deal with Tracer in the back lines, but they're just gonna dive straight again and you see that Junkrat trap just baiting them in and blowing them into the air. And they also they have their rip bolt on Junkrat as well, so they do have some like a like counter spam basically. There's the type the diva oh. coming out, but not a good position. With the snipe. Flame strike and the ellipsis oh, in the way it. back. Yeah, it was more a uh, you know throw a flame strike into a giant pile of enemies, see what hits. Yeah, that get like thirty percent charge from it. Yeah. So far, two hundred milligram are doing a great job here. A minute twenty left on the clock as once again the dive is just coming in. A That's massive a wave of people. And you just don't want to do that against a jump rat. Alien Tree's trying to get on the dark shot on the back along with Millie, but feeding, being that big old bodyguard that Roadhog is, you see Gray going to go down, but two picks pick up. Dark shot finally going to go down, so they don't have the mercy left. But do they do have Mobius with a shatter? Can they get it? Alien, hard way for Alien Tree to pop his bubble. Actually, he doesn't even have it anymore. He could do it right now, but he's just waiting to get more value off of it. Misses! 
tried to just get it with the Mercy. But Mercy just, you know, good old hitbox on Shadow is so wonky. Adam is into doing their best to stall out. Mobius is back on the cart, though. Rift Ball's there to try and like, blast him away. Dark Shadow is back as well, so we do have the rest. Ellipsis' route is gone. So they're just gonna walk this point oh, up as 2MMG is scattered. Just ticks, server ticks away from stopping that payload from hitting that next checkpoint. Oh my. But. Dark Shadow falling early. He was in a bit of a pickle as he was sitting on payload with Mobis, but he had attackers kind of all around him. But he did a Guardian Angel to try and fly to a different side towards the attackers, unfortunately, which kind of called the banners for Wet Lemons to uh, push just a little bit harder there. And they definitely kept the numbers into that fight. And now, Caillou onto a bit of Fera action. Mm -hmm. Kai, but he's actually getting chased down by Rift Bolt on the jungle, which is pretty surprising because you see the, the other way around. Demon Bomb not going to get on the Bailey, but he is going to get jumped on by Million Alien Tree. They're doing a really good job at diving together. Bailey's going to actually pick up Noe, though. It's something that he's been doing a lot this game. Darkshot pop, pops about trying to rest everyone back up and get that consistent AoE healing. And it's looking like what limits are forced to back oh. off. Wait. Martyrdom. Did he get the Martyrdom? Got Bailey Ninja. It looks like Alien Tree is oh. about to do oh, the solo essentially. But the, the Nano and the, out to the Winston. He's got just so much health. It'll take more than a charge to get him down. Now Ellipsis is the one to fall at 99% to his Valkyrie. It's going to be maybe a little bit of a stunted fight here for what Lemons perhaps, but not if Rift Bolt can find someone. There's a tire in the back. To go up and high. Trying to go for support. Dark Shadow oh, gets is found. It. Had the right idea to try and fly away. Ooh, once again, Gray with the biotic grenade to stop some healing there. But the tides are ever ebbing and flowing here. But not with Ellipsis. Kylie coming in with a wave of her own to resurrect a few. And looks like they're trying to get to this next checkpoint with under a minute left here. A bit of a trickle. 200 mg but it looks like they're gonna have to give this one up as dark shadow sacrifices herself good old mercy player sacrificing herself for the better of the team mm -hmm. but now that was, that was just a very series of unfortunate events for 2 mg and something that's surprisingly working is this nano onto the winston just giving him the extra like health and damage just to chase down dark shadow i mean you can't you don't have to aim the winston tesla cannon and as i said earlier millie plus alien tree just diving onto someone consistently it's super annoying as we see alien tree go into the back as well trying to get onto scumbag widow i don't feel like is a good pick here i'd like to see the junk rat again very long hallway just to spam down i'm just watching gray just Kobe, some awesome biotic grenades way in the back. As he gets shot in the face by a rocket, but that's fine. Caillou gets an extra two with a uh, rocket barrage. That should be enough for them to hold this payload here. As so they should really be contesting this now. Uh, they definitely have the numbers here, but. They're going to stop it. It's going to start going backwards. They have to get through the hallway even without the point. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't like the widow here because they've shown they have this really good dive team of Alien Tree and Millie. I don't. I feel like she's gonna yeah. just consistently get picked. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll be interesting to hear who the shot caller is on the side of Wet Lemons. It seems like Alien Tree is usually the first one to head in. Yeah. There Millie he goes. Follows, Millie's always. there to follow. Oh, but the Diva Bomb gets going back. Millie pops the Dragon Blade as well with the Nano, He's going to be picking up feeding oh, yeah. and just. This is just so much red in the kill feed. I don't know if 2MG can hold this off. They do well, have the Valk though. This is the Valkyrie, but Caillou is the one to watch as Reaper will just delete tanks as best he can. But feeding is actually coming in, along with some Bailey Ninja sound barrier support. But now they're back into it here. And once again, Caillou with a death. Two. Death oh, death two. Resurrection comes back. A good old res makes fights so much easier to follow. But Caillou has Death Blossom from 50%. He's going to be popping in just on Alien Tree, but good bubble going to prevent a lot of that damage. Alien Tree going to lose his life. Feeding tries to hook, but going to miss it. Adam trying to do his best to push into the team. I'm not going to get Ripple with a Pulse Bomb. I'm not going to stick on the Feeding. But 
Also, another plus one I'm not gonna say, but do you have a bomb? Oh, Kai, wow. with the last minute. Barely, minute. that cooldown was there. But but he's 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 oh, Rip Bone could've killed Okay, never mind, he goes down, but <laughs> Kai so. doing his best to keep it alive. He almost has whole hearts trying to push down around, but Millie gets another Dragon Blade. That's how all this fight's been going on. He's trying to get the Bane Blade, dies. Now he's after Captain Caillou, but Caillou staying alive thanks to the mercy that no one's focusing. He's going to get onto Greg. Greg finally goes down, but there's Alien Tree and Dark Shadow force the pop down to get away. Mobius is back from the de dead, and there's a shadow going to land on the Alien Tree, but you don't want to just DPS a big old monkey. There's feeding with the whole hog. Defense is not as good as he used to be. This fight is so chaotic. Mobius is just going to be. Oh, he's going to get stuck. Good positioning to keep himself from killing his teammates. Feeding's going to probably not. Violent. There's the Dino Bomb. Scum back. Okay, he's gonna recall. I'm gonna get back into his mech, and they're just talking about there's another Val coming out. Don't, I do not know what's going on anymore, but Bailey Ninja gonna be popping the sound there, keeping everyone alive. And this fight is just the one that never ends. Kai is gonna be popping the Death Blossom, but defensively, he's gonna stop a lot of that damage. There's a fat shatter! Oh and gonna maybe kill off Grey finally? Nope, that's not gonna be it. Oh my goodness. Pokemon on the moon is finally going to pick him up, and it finally looks like White Lemons is getting ahead onto this point. They're pushing up. Bailey's trying to get back in time, but I don't think he can. Oh he is, God. in fact, but he's going to get booped immediately, and that is going to be it, Donalds. Listen. Listen, man. Chat. Chat listen. <laughs> I hate 2CP. Yeah, well, this isn't 2CP. I, I literally don't know where to begin. Maybe the fact that multiple players got at least two ultimates within that entire overtime debacle. I think there. it was three. We saw, well, I wouldn't be surprised if some people got three ultimates. I know there was two whole hogs, I think two self-destructs from either side. Um, sound barriers, Valkyries, for sure. <laughs> Nano I mean, that's the twice. reason. Yeah, right. That's the reason those fights are being extended for such a long period of time for such a high intensity chaotic moment there i was so sure that caillou was going to be wiping the floor but there was just enough damage being dealt out by wet lemons where he had to constantly be shifting away to just be healed up and you know obviously you get a bit of heal back from your shots but when there's that much dps and just pure carnage being thrown either way you have to be a little bit careful on how far you're being extended, especially Wet Lemons. A great job at staying on the payload for one, because at that length, it, um, it caps out after a certain amount of time. Once you leave that payload for less than a second, that will tick away so fast. But they stuck with it and they got it with, uh, really, if we're going with like soccer or football time, you know, you're like at plus a minute and a half on the timer there. Exactly, and as you said, Donos, I'm like so many things, especially when a fight gets like chaotic. Like, if they had left it for just a second, it would have been gone because it, mm -hmm. that thing just zips to the bottom. But we do get to see that they didn't do it in overtime, so I believe oh, if what is it if uh, two MG gets it without overtime, they win, or if they, if get... they get time, they get I, they get the one chance to push, I believe, while uh. Wet lemons do not get a chance at all to be on the attacking side. Okay. So they don't have to get another point, which is still a big advantage if they can get it in the time, but Adam's going to get Adam. up early. Oh, but then I'm going to pull back. Ooh, the combination of the flask. Doing the good old Reddit top post widow shots on the Rift Bolt. Will, who is Bailey back with up the rest here. <laughs> Actually, Bailey on Pog this time. Who's. Healing. Oh, Caillou's healing this time. Yeah, Caillou, I mean, we've seen him play at, the, at this point probably seven different heroes throughout the night here, which, mm -hmm. good or bad, you know, I think it's always a good idea to have a, a wide breadth of players who are good to play. Well, Especially it, if you fit your role that well. Across oh, different roles, too. Oh my god, scumbag. But no, especially like playing other roles, like we, we were talking about Caillou played like, I mean, he's gone from support to like. Widow to um, DPS hero tanks, like when you can when you understand what heroes do, it makes like playing with other people play well. As Adam like gets some Adam aim revolt, sorry, get a lot of kills. <laughs> can Skymite get the one v one? No, he can't. No, not against a Winston at that point, but 
I'll be surprised. I'm wondering here if 200 milligram are going to be changing up any. Well, I, I wouldn't expect them to because they're sitting on some ultimates. They got to use them before potentially switching off to a new composition here. Uh, White Lemon's running a vastly different defensive structure here with really only one shield to hide behind. And Rift Bolt is a bit of a free action here, which I wouldn't surprise if he gets a few dead eye kills himself here. He definitely has it. It's kind of hard on this point, especially with, again, so much cover the deck behind. But Adam consistently playing so far up, going to get the hook on the scumbag. But wait, scumbag just jumps right back down, I guess, because he has Bailey to back him up. But Adam just not getting punished for playing so far up. Yeah, well, the Wet Lemons are engaging well enough in the front. You saw Alien Tree dive into the middle of the of 200 milligram. Ooh, nice. Good tire, tire shot. Out, but yeah, Alien Tree doing a good job of distracting. <gasps> scumbag and Mercy! I guess not a good enough as Scumbag hits out two good shots, and Caillou, for good measure, will hit that trans. Oh, Rift Bolt, you can't stop that burst damage, my boy. Oh, Adam nice finally getting punished for his aggression. Rift Bolt going to go down as well, because he didn't get the Mercy. So, going to be probably about rest everyone who got killed by the Deadeye. Looks like going to walk this point in. So this is, well, not necessarily. This is about the same uh, timing here at 200 milligram has as well as Wet Lemons had last round here. As long as they can touch the point. As, yes, they do alien tree going in with the Earth's Lips. Lips. Yeah. And um, Primal Reach as well. Bailey's trying his best, but Adam's going to have his whole hog. Ready and willing. Ripple. He's trying to do his best comeback, trying to deal with him on the backside. But he just doesn't care, not able to land anything. And actually, the Mercy's gonna go down. Scumbag finally kills off Ripple's build, but not before Dark Shadows go down. They're not gonna have a Mercy for this fight. It is a Fleezy 4, though. Phoenix has his tire, though, which can be pretty much a guaranteed kill. Will, but oh. by Gray. Scumbag is on the point, dealing with Alien Tree himself, just gunning him down with that SMG. Will he get the kill? No, but Lipsis is back. There we go, thank you. <laughs> I don't know say, how... Wait, how's he still alive? Okay. He has like one HP, finally falls. Fifth Rift Bolt to the rescue. Actually, but they have to get on his point! Is this going to be the it? They were looking so strong, but... I don't think they're getting on point in time. Yeah, Bailey might be able to waddle up, but Deadeye is up. <laughs> I gotta let him touch it. You gotta let him touch oh it for goodness. the DM. But that's one going up, and that's 2-0 for them so far. Alrighty then. I mean, the same. I mean, they had the same pace in the beginning, getting that last push with about a minute left here. But what lemons just had a bit more. A surprisingly scrappy defense. I'm not sure how really they came out on top because the the attacking and defending forces were so just. I don't know. Too chaotic because they're on every side of Big Earl's every corner. There's like a one-on-one -on -one going on. You know, you saw Alien Tree and Scumbag going at it for probably too long of a time, really, for a Widow to be attacking a, a Winston. But, I digress. <laughs> what Lemons? We're going to bring up the 2-0, and I don't know, do we have a 3-0 Grand Final in our future? Well, Donald, what's going on to our favorite part of, the, of a tournament, the Assault Map, so Kings anything can happen. Oh. 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 <laughs> That's not part of that map pool. Well, maybe soon. TM. Now, hopefully, maybe, who knows, <laughs> we'll get a non Volskaya pick. Well, that'll be for uh, 200 MG. It looks like 200 milligram here are going to be subbing someone in. They're going to be taking. Uh, oh, gosh, who was that? Who did they take out? They took out uh, Kanye beating Dark Shark. Who did? Wait, hold up. Oh, I oh they took out. They took out a uh, scumbag. Yes, they did. Interesting choice, bringing in Star Knight, who I've seen play a few times before. See what Is role they will support? fill. I'm not sure. Aren't, aren't they a support me? Yes, we can figure out by viewing the career profile. Lots of Anna. This is a lot of Tracer. A bit of a flex player. And a Genji Zarya Tracer, the top four here. So we'll see what he will be going on. And 200 MG. 
Oh, I think it, I think it, all the months I've casted uh, this term, and I've never seen Horizon. I've seen it once or twice. I actually kind of like Horizon a bit. It's fun. Great. I mean, it, it's better than the others. It's 2 CP, but, you know. <laughs> it's good for a 2 Fair. CP map. Wait. Then I don't switch it off. Wait, where is it? Hello? Oof. They actually chose Horizon Lunar Colony, so we get to step away from the cold winters of Volskaya or the hot deserts of Temple of Anubis and step out to some well air conditioned, good, nice, controlled climate of Horizon Lunar Colony. Pipe. Let us start. I'm getting bullied in chat. Getting bullied for no king's row feels bad. Yeah, feeding said he'd solo ult me. I totally expect him to. He will. Gucci gang. Gucci gang. I'm glad that Rack has evolved to a point that Gucci gang is super popular. A bit of I... an update of our... Yeah. Third place match sounds odd in a diamond and below, but we have it nonetheless. Okay, let's we have one. Uh, which was Frost Wolves, who lost to 200 milligrams, and the other team, Pixel Hype, who lost to Wet Lemons in the semifinal. So, and that best of three, uh, Frost Wolves ended up winning. So, oh, congrats nice. to them. They win absolutely nothing, uh, as with everyone in this tournament. They win, they uh, win our love that. and affection, Donalds. Come on now. <laughs> Never. You? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Yeah. You get nothing. Stupid. <laughs> Maybe one day we'll Maybe uh, one day. the best get UHF some... line yeah. from the movie <laughs> that nobody's Attackers ever watched. Incoming right. in 30 seconds. Maybe we'll actually get prizes one day for Diamond and Below. Who knows? But I mean, even with uh, I mean, with Blizzard's new, I don't know, decree. Oh, hey, since hey man, they came out. You can't they're, have a, they're a small indie company. Come I on. I know. You, you can't have serial tournaments without being approved by Blizzard. So we can't technically, we have to protect the right maybe people. legally do our invitational and qualifiers for the time being. But until Blizzard gets word back to us, we have to just continue on with our opens, Diamond and Belows, and 1v1s. 1v1. One uh, one. But we do say Caillou. Going back to the game, Caillou on Sombra, I always like watching him play because he, he's just a general nuisance, as you should be on Sombra. And but also another thing, they were running super aggressive, they also have this, the Tracer as well, along with Bailey on that Lucio again, so they're just running at them. But Bailey's going to get a mine to the face, going to die off that, feeding almost out of his mech, and it's looking like... Rift Bolt. After being res, grabs the nice little cheeky headshot onto Tracer Star Knight, who has now been subbed in for Scub Bag. So, <clears throat> Dark Shadow is also going to follow. So, I always find playing against Orisa on most maps is extremely annoying. Yeah. Because the, the cooldown of the shield and the marginal health of it is just, and is, I don't know, triggers me a tiny bit. So now you have to focus on a lot of shield breaking, especially with Rift Bolt and Ellipsis just like hiding out behind that shield. And uh, right now, it looks like 200 milligrams are having a bit of a tough time trying to find their way in. They're taking a lower path, which is never a bad thing, especially with Captain oh, Kai with that EMP. Yeah, Only grabbing about EMP. half the team, but the chaos is just enough for them to crash through, even with a kind of last second self destruct here by Wet Lemons and uh, Adam, a bit of flex player there, as a bit of a scrappy fight, but how, surprisingly, it's, a, I don't know, well. Well, Donald, your answer there is that Caillou and Ripple decided to go into the back and bully Ripple on that uh, Widow, 
So they that's where they ditched. So both your offense heroes were just off dealing with a will. So that's why it kind of looked a little bad there for a bit until they finally came back after killing Rift finally. Yeah, well, now the Widow... Well, no more Widow choice. I'll say Widow is a fairly interesting pick for either side here because you have such a long way to look in or out of the point. You can be hidden in so many corners, but they're not even on there anymore. You know, with four minutes added to the time bank here, they can not necessarily take their time, but... Bit of a different approach for attack here, especially with the... Ooh. Some barriers interesting. Didn't feel like they were pressured enough. They do want to do something, but they're not making the most out of that. I feel like that was pretty much a wasted ultimate. Fiend is going to be diva bombing here. Going to be picking off Millie on that junk rat. Not going to get the... And Lips is going to get the rest on the Rift Bowl, but he's going to die for himself. Ooh. Captain Kai, a good EMP, going to be killing off... Ripple on the Kree, and there goes the Alien Tree. Adam trying to get on the point now, pushing everyone off. The Star Knight and Bailey are there along with Captain Caillou. He's going to lose his mech. Millie's here on Genji now instead of, I think he was on Junkrat before. But everyone's just dying one by one. Alien Tree is going to be getting Nana. Ripple now onto the Tracer, trying to get onto Bailey. Like he's just dashing away. There's the Valve Pop by Darkshire, I think. Yes, yep. there we go. It's like purely for survival, essentially, will now come. For resurrection, because he had to pop that really early as Mobius. Or I'm sorry, uh, looks like Alien Tree and company were trying to chase him down real fast. Self. Oh, Adam with Adam. this diva bomb, really good. But Dark Shadow does have rise. He's going to get Mobius back up, and now he's in the back, getting it onto Ellipsis. Ellipsis trying wow. to get away, but oh, good sleep, going to prevent him from killing up Ellipsis. But he's trying to find, <laughs> but going to be jumping back to safely, and it's looking like Tuna MG not even going to be getting this first checkpoint. I mean, that's kind of what 2CP is. You have to get a fantastic team wipe or people body blocking at the early connection, you know, early areas. Kind of trying a bit of a cheek thing, maybe trying to get a pick before heading out, but he has the EMP ready, surprisingly still on it. I wonder if he'll be switching afterwards, perhaps, because it's a kind of, uh, it's not super tough, but your health packs are a little bit more spread out here, unless you have a very mobile team who is willing to go grab those. Um, but the EMP, super strong, especially on 2CP, because, you know, you gotta be grouped up on either side here. Oh, oh in the yeah. midst, Bailey Ninja gets what? downed by Dragon Both Blade supports Billy. going down, too. Ripple getting down to Dark Shadow, and it's looking like this push is already gone. You can't really push without A, your Mercy, or B, your B, or your Lucio. So that push stopped really early. We still got three minutes to work with, though. Yep, they, 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 plenty of pushes to go still. And the thing is, you have to figure out, I mean, you can push for as long as you want for a single attack, but you gotta realize when it's time to leave, because you're just prolonging... You're losing time. Fight. You're losing a lot of time, and of course, 2CP defenders are right there to spawn back in. But with coming in with this EMP by Caillou, this will be probably their largest attack boat Early self destruct will grab. No. no one. But you see, right now, wet lemons are so spread out that EMP may not even do much of anything except maybe get two people. Uh, they can't start some fight with it, is the thing. Right, which is the actually that they start. It actually hit the people up top. They got yeah, the mercy. They did ellipsis, but he's so safe up top that he's not going to fall from that. Ooh, but self destruct may get him instead. Oh, I'm sorry. That was, <laughs> that was Adam. Yeah. Adam's going to get pulse bomb, but not going to be too. Uh, worse for wear from and Mercy gonna be healing back up. Mobus is dealing with both tanks right now. And there's the Valve going to be resting Bailey. Mobus pop force to pop primal wage after getting gunned down by a lot of the tanks. And there's the sleep onto him. Mobus gonna be waking him back up. But Millie is gonna have the dragon blade getting onto Caillou. He's gonna be dashing away trying to stealth out, but Alien Chief's just gunning him down with Rift Bolt. Mobus left on the point by himself, and that is 200 MG losing that fight. Dark Shadow trying to get away, but he's probably gonna get started by Rift Bolt. Nope, yeah. feeding back to give him a. Thing the dash did. And 200 MG investing a lot into that fight, as we see, as I was expecting, Caillou switching away from uh, Sombra onto some Reaper, which not a bad choice, especially with, I mean, if you're trying to do defending your supports or just going on the attack, you're going to melt some tanks, especially Alien Tree, who's been very active jumping into the back lines and Riftable being just him jolly old self grabbing dark shadow out with a pulse bomb and you're gonna build that back up so fast that 
That is completely worth it as they have to wait another like 20 seconds or so before they can start. Well, maybe 10 seconds or so before they can even make another push. With a minute left. Yeah, but the thing is, 200 MG doesn't have, have any ultimate. Like, they have the Stumber and that's it. I guess Feeding almost has Diva Bomb. But they don't have that Visor. They don't have Death Blossom anytime soon. And they only got 52 seconds. That Starlight picks up Ellipsis, which is pretty big. And there's both supports that Stumber is just going to be called early. Don't. Again, they're just not using that to negate damage, just to kind of like make it safe. <laughs> There's Deeper Bomb coming out of Adam, they're gonna try to get away, but there is Feeding losing his mech, Feeding, but he's gonna be his, using his, his ultimate. mech got stuck on the upper ledge as he tried to get it from that other self destruct that knocked him out. And now we just see a full on scrap by Rift Bolt as you're talking about. Oh, he had his pulse bomb back up. Caillou's trying to get his ultimate 73%, but he's gonna die beforehand. And it's now just Mobus feeding and baby and left from 200 MG with 15% up. But Millie, Dragon Blade coming through is going to be just wrecking through everyone. And feeding's going to lose his mech and probably his life. You do not think anyone can get there in time. Not, not at all. Not even to the first tick there, so. Well, what lemons have to at least capture the first point first. Um, as we see, just getting that first tick can be quite hard if you're not killing the right heroes in the right order in a sense so dongles are we are we going to see full meme defense here we're going to get the arista we're going to get reinhardt we're going to get uh, torb i haven't seen a torb arista in a long time i don't know if <laughs> maybe not from wet lemons but i we've definitely seen that in the open tournaments a few times i want to say but uh not so much in the diamond and blows I, well, the arista. I want oh that. did i call it want them to <clears throat> but who knows maybe they'll do it to appease appease the casters appease the gods it's looking like it i feel like a big prior problem though of two and mgs just play so far in the story i don't really like lucio always i don't know if bailey can play anything at the support but just i feel like gray's getting so much value out of these nanos just even just narrowing alien tree on winston is providing so much pressure and it's just like bailey's i feel like just not using the most out of lucio like is then yeah just for the discord or anna just for that raw healing and anti-healing that she provides yeah but i mean it's it's always obviously with any hero a trade-off i mean yeah. if, if you're good with the speed boost you're giving <clears throat> at least I, I mean control it may matter more in positioning getting to the point first but at least with these some of these tight corridors you can at least get into striking distance easier uh, with more levity with that speed boost from lucio instead of trying to slug your way through a doorway or two and maybe someone might get picked off but that extra speed boost um i think is always helpful but we'll see how he does sitting on a tire having a little fun and we don't see the meme, uh, the meme defense coming out toward Bash and. Uh... As, as we're just saying, Ellipsis, who's been playing Mercy, is now on Lucio, and they're gonna take a wide berth and go straight almost onto point here. Kai's just in the back though, shooting away along with Star Knight. They have the motor though, just keep this AOE healing. But Gray's gonna lose his neck pretty early on. I'm charging in, going to land on the Bailey, so that's one support gone. Bailey's gonna get hooked into the back from Millie, and now he's just having to deal with Ripple and then Adam. And looking like with two already dead, they're going to lose his first point pretty fast. Mobius is left alive. Race is going to get charged into the wall. Caillou, probably the only defense left. But don't think he's going to get onto the point in time. And pretty so, convincing yeah. attack. Well, yeah. I'm the tight cluster to rush off to a bit of an awkward position for 200 MG to deal with. Because <clears throat> they were fairly set up. Uh, even sitting way up front, I think whoever was playing Tracer at that moment was so far up, but... Oh, wait. Wasting no time here. Adam's gonna go in and... They were not the expecting the Bastion. Uh -huh. Not a surprise Bastion behind a shield, so... Damage boosted, so they're gonna have to maybe rethink what they got here as they lose three here. Um, Alien Tree, I would expect, who's been playing Tank all night, I would probably stay on Moira because... I think Moira is just such a weird, like off character to play that it's 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 fairly new character obviously but it's just something people aren't quite maybe as used to yet especially mm -hmm. with uh coalescence and those orbs she throws out i think her uh, i think her comp is fine they just kind of like i mean you saw adam just charged in didn't like 
Oh hey, there's a Bastion. I guess I'm kind of dead now. But here we go. No, he's just coming. Oh, no! That's what I need to do in my bronze game. Just run for the Bastion. We see the Fast Shadow coming in the back, getting onto Dark Shadow and everyone else, and oh nobody's gonna pop his ultimate. As I was saying, I don't think it was a problem with the comp. I think it was just kind of like ran into a Bastion. Ooh. That's gonna be a very quick game. Oh yeah. That we were saying, you gotta get that team wipe, especially on 2CP. And granted, they only had to get to that first tick, but. Oh, I wish he's actually gonna get it. Amora. What do you do? Oh, I guess oh, Coral Wilson's. <laughs> that goes to that shield, baby. Oh, that's what Kaihu was talking about by not doing damage. I mean, you gotta think. I mean, he's saying he did a little you know, damage, but Myra also heals herself while she's doing that coalescence. So, mm -hmm. a, a not as much as Mercy, as we all know, trying to kill Valk and Mercy is Woo! super triggering, but clap. Anyway, clap. But Lemons, a 3 0 onto 200 MG. First seed versus second seed. Statistically, it came out just all right. Yep. Quick 3-0 by the wet lemons there. Gonna be ending our dab here, dolls. But not to be fear, as um, as I kind of said over this course, we do the dab once a, once a month usually, right, dongles? Oh yeah, we try usually to do our best. Yeah, dab once a month, open also usually once a month. Uh, do we have that schedule for this month yet, dongles, or are we still dealing with the... Next, what is next Friday the 20th or something? Uh, uh, is, yeah, yeah. yeah, because of the new rules by Blizzard, we can't technically stream during Overwatch League matches. Oh yeah, I because, forgot about that. You know, they can they, they say it. We you know we jump. Are the hundred viewers that watch this tournament right. are going to be? I mean, taken. we love them. I love you guys so much. Yeah, but, we can compete with 150k streams, right? Yeah, yeah. But regardless, for the time being, I think we're moving our opens to Saturdays. So our summer series, our, our summer open. 2.1, I think, as as we call it, our second season of opens. Uh, we'll be starting the 20th on Saturday. Uh, stay tuned on Mooncord for specific time and details. Um, mm -hmm. Most likely, I mean, we will definitely be looking at the mod team, that is. We'll be looking at map changes. Um, so, King's Row, King fingers crossed. Um, we'll look at the organization of that, and possible changes to uh sub rules and things of that nature so always stay tuned for uh hopefully continued continued positive improvements to uh kind of the little tiny cute community we got going on here i'm going to take you but now as a uh, and then also as dongle said um i just brain farted i actually don't know what i was going to nice. say it's been a long hey man i've been casting for like three and a half hours give me a break yeah Doing good. Uh, uh, but, for the grand finals. Yeah, it feels good, man. Nah, but as as always, uh, my I'm in secure haze. Been casting these downs and having myself a good old time providing entertainment for you guys. I uh, want my co-caster sign us away. Yes, thank you so much. I'm Mr. Dongles, observing and streaming for us all night long with that funky music, Equilateral, who's uh, going through a bit of a name change crisis, if I don't say so myself. At the it was the original Hexton. name. It's there the name you that's go. always been up on Battle.net. You just never saw it. He's just making it all streamlined. Yep. Which is smart. Smart. Well, so for the time being, thank you so much for tuning in, as well as Snow Hobo for taking on a bit of casting tonight as well. Sick boys for life. And chat moderation. It's actually a chat moderation band. Smell it, boys, for life. Smile, chat. All right. Well, until next time. Well, till next week. We'll see you at the Open, which is open to all people. So we see a lot of GM top 500 players. <gasps> Gas. <gasps> top right. 500. Clap. Bye-bye. Have a good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. <laughs>